Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and we are back with Soma. So Simon has escaped Theta in a way and can finally make his way to Omicron where he can find a power suit that will stand the pressure of the abyss. And here we go. Right. Which way am I going? Is that... I think that's the, the, the chute, the pipe that I've been ejected from. My escape route. Totally carefully planned. We're back out on the open ocean. Or the open ocean floor. Oh, that looks ominous. What is that? Are they mines of some sort? Alright. Let's find Omicron. Unfazed. What is this? What are these things meant to be? There's some weird looking fish. buttons on. Power failure. What did these do? What's this? Am I meant to be able to do something with that? What are you? I'll come back and get that if I find that I need it for something. Okay. Very interesting structures they have here. What is this thing meant to be? Do I want to explore inside? Can I explore inside? We can. Now what does this do? Pressure button. Not working. Power failure. Do anything with this? Nope, can't turn that. Manual override. Is that what I want? Warning before flushing, make sure to open valves and turn on the pump. Open valves, push. So, press the button. <laughs> ah, yes, there we go. So, they're just lights. Open valves. Turn on the pumps. Oh, there we go. Now flush. That worked. There's still no power though. Oh, what are we gonna find up here? Don't like climbing ladders in a first person's perspective. Ugh. A dead body made me jump, followed by loud noises. Why we got a heartbeat? Thank you. 
never like the heartbeat. It just like there normally means that there's something here with me. Um, am I going to brain read the dead person? I'm not getting anything. I can't read him like the others. Why is that? Is it just because he's been dead too long? He just looked very decomposed. Right. Catherine? What? Huh. <laughs> what? There you are. Where are we? We're right next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. I'm trying to figure out how to get into Omicron, the big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. Is that it? it? You got nothing? <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Oh. Kath, how are you so okay with all this? With what? Being a talking box, for one thing. Not being human. That's not so bad. So, you're not bothered at all by not having a body? I'm getting there. You're making me feel really self-conscious. Come on. Be serious. I never felt that comfortable being human in the first place. This isn't much worse. Not being able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box and not me. Would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body, but you're doing a good job. Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Um, okay, is that it? Did we just plug you in to have a chat? Kath, why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? I don't think we could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. It's restoring humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, for that matter. Okay, so that discussion very much lines up with what I've been thinking. Kevin, are we alive? That's an impossible question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. Just figure there must be a way to know. To know if this life is worth living. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. I don't feel so different. The world sure does. I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. And not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto, I know who I am. Toronto 2015. That's an interesting observation. Relayed message from Stromir. Adam Golaski is ordered to come to theatre as soon as possible. Urgent. Gask. I tried to figure out what it was about, but they wouldn't tell me anything. All I know is they asked if you were missing or if you were dead. Something was to freak them out. I think you better do as they tell you, Herbie. Unless I've completely forgot something, I'm not recognizing some of those I was doing some exploring. Anything else to say? Can't you press a button? Or do something with all this failed power? Got to be something I can actually do here. Ah, here we go. Uh, what kind of puzzle is this? Lights, lights. Oh, where do I want the power to go? Is that it? No. 
Right. Oh, he didn't like that one. That one's gone. Oh, dear. Yay? Where is this power meant to be going? I broke it. Get where it's meant to be going. I would have thought it was the, it would be that dot there or something. Something that goes off the edge of the screen. So that one is the one I want to get to. section. Use this. There we go. Oh, the terminal just lit up. That was more than one. Black box status. Omicron crew status, everyone is offline. System updates. Um, I don't like the random dead people don't bite statement, but... Uh, else seems to be of interest. Why is my screen going for the query? Can I read you now? None. Any idea who this is? Not really. Not that familiar with the people at Emma Right, what's this? Radio buffer. Fubber, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. You can do. That's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. You keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of. So I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the intercom at Theta. Ah, uh, that explains that then. What's quarantined? Why are we cancelling the last thing we released that was quarantined, like, had a person inside it and self-destructed? We shouldn't be taking things out of, um, that note that I found up there, I'm assuming, had some relevance to it. Are you hearing that glitched noise? Yeah, what is that? Oh, no. I don't like it. What is that? Right, was there a code on here? No, there wasn't. 
Oh, that's not useful at all. What's with the creepy ass noise? Something's trying to get in. And this is an annoying room where the hatch thing hasn't closed behind me. Is it this? Did you do that, Catherine? What? Never mind. U B V Z R M S P. Obsvermsp. I think I solved it. Solved what? Why do I get the feeling that we just got lowered into the back of a van? What are you talking about? Eh? I'm confused. What was that? Wait a minute. Hmm, I don't like that at all. Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown cancelled. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. It's fine for you, you don't have a body. Why am I glitching? I don't like it. I don't like it. Filling. Right then. Back outside we go. Hey everyone, thanks very much for watching and don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe if you want to see more. There's the comment section below if you've got any feedback for me and I shall see you in the next episode. Until then, bye!